Hi, it's Brad here with Altin Technologies. Today I'd like to show you just how easy it is to get your information migrated over from a Microsoft Exchange server environment into mDaemon. So I'm going to show you first of all where to find the instructions to uh, perform this procedure and then I'll demonstrate it for you. So we have a knowledge base article at altin.com which explains the process. So here I am, I've got altin.com pulled up and I'm going to go to the support tab and click on our the link for our knowledge base here. And then in the select a product drop down menu I'm going to select mDaemon. And then we can simply put in the keyword migrate. Okay? And then simply click on get articles. And if we scroll down, we have this article right here, migrating from Microsoft Exchange to mDaemon. So we're going to follow the instructions in this article here. So we'll go ahead and click on the article number. And just to kind of give you a brief overview of, of this article, this gives you the instructions on how to do it and explains how to set up your exchange environment. So you have your uh, procedure here. You have uh, more information as far as what's going to take place. You have uh, installation requirements. For example, a user will need to have full access to all Exchange uh, mailboxes. And then you have some uh, articles on setup uh, with setup information depending on what version of Exchange you are running. Um, you want to make sure that mDaemon is installed on the uh, computer that you're, mig that you're migrating to. The uh, computer must be a member of the Exchange server's domain. mDaemon must have been started at least once. The default domain name has been set in mDaemon as well. And then mDaemon is shut down for the migration process. Make sure you have at least Outlook 2003 or later running on the uh, computer that you are uh, running mDaemon migrator, MD Migrator on. And that you have an Outlook profile set up with a user that has full access to all Exchange mailboxes. And that the user has logged into Windows, uh, who has logged into Windows is a domain administrator. Once you have that, those prerequisites met, then you can simply follow these instructions here uh, to, to migrate your data over from Exchange. So just to cover what information is actually pulled over from Exchange, so that information is uh, specified in this paragraph here. So MD Migrator will copy over your public folders, uh, public folder messages, and import them into mDaemon's public folders. It'll copy all of the messages from the uh, server and create mDaemon messages for each mailbox. It'll copy certain account data and import that into, into uh, mDaemon. Uh, distribution lists from Exchange are also copied over uh, from address books and are imported into mDaemon as mailing lists. So if you just read this article, it gives you a good overview of what you are pulling over from Exchange. So let me go ahead and demonstrate this for you now that we've we've set it up. So I have a system here that has already been pre-configured per the instructions in the uh, article that we were just looking at. Okay? And on this machine here, mDaemon is shut down and we're going to uh, bring up MD Migrator. So let's navigate to that via the mDaemon app directory. So mDaemon is installed on the C drive. We'll, op we'll open up the mDaemon folder MD Migrator is located inside the mDaemon app or app directory. So we'll open the uh, app directory and then we'll locate MD Migrator, the, uh, the MD Migrator executable, which is located right here. Okay? So we'll double click on that. Now, again, in the uh, knowledge base article that I was just showing you, one of the requirements was that you have an Outlook profile that has been set up that connects to the uh, Exchange server. That Profile, uh, MD Migrator will pull that profile, will basically read that profile and list it here. I have a profile called uh, profile called MD Migrator Profile. So once we have our profile populated in the blank shown here or in the drop down menu, we click on next. Okay. Then you have other information such um, that you can that is also pulled over from Exchange. You probably will never need to change anything on this screen. So we can simply click on next. We do have the option of migrating over secondary domains if we'd like to do so as well. So let's click on next. Okay. And then 
We'll click on next again. This is just general information about uh, the uh, profile, the organization, the uh, server name and so forth, the, uh, the domain name. So we don't need to do anything here other than click on next. And then this is where we select which uh, accounts that we want to migrate. We can check these boxes individually or we can check the box at the top to uh, select all accounts to be migrated. Okay, once we've selected the accounts we want to migrate, we click on next. Okay. Let me, uh, my firewall just kicked in. That's okay. I just, I allowed it to access. So that's okay. It's migrating at this time. We can see that right here. It's telling you what, what's being migrated. Should take just a couple of moments, depending on how many accounts you have. And then in just, a mom just another moment, it will complete. And the uh, finish button will become available for us to click on. I don't recall exactly how many accounts we are uh, migrating from Exchange, so uh, might take another uh, minute or so. Oh, actually, we're done. Okay, so we click on Finish. And that's it. The uh, information has now been migrated over into mDaemon. In fact, I can, I can launch mDaemon and uh, show you that the information has been populated. We'll just do that through the uh, Start menu here. Okay, and if we go into our account manager, and here they are. These are all the accounts that we've imported from Exchange. So, just a quick, easy way to uh, import your information from an Exchange environment. And uh, if you have questions or uh, would like other uh, topics discussed in uh, tutorial videos, uh, send me an email at training at And uh, have a great day.